We on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official. Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not nothing, my dad walk on. Hey man, how you doing, man? Nah, it's Good fine. to see you. <laughs> you see me all the time. No, no, but you just look different behind the mic. Yeah, you look real good to say no behind no, 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 the mic. Check it, man. Hey, man. Uh, check it. We got a, a, a guest today. You know, uh, you know this here. You know, we're trying to bring music back. You know, it's been a lot of stuff been going on, and you know, this rap is oversaturating the market. But we got Chi Hindi in the building today, y'all. Get ready, man. We we about to go in, man. Just want to talk about, you know. Really, the the music and just how she got into what she got into, her backstory, of course. We got to get some of that. We want to know who she is, where she from, who she be with. <laughs> <laughs> Check it, man. So, hey, man. So, uh, I guess you can just give us a spiel about yourself. Just tell us a little bit about who you are. All right, my name is Chi Hindi, not Chai, but Chi Hindi. Okay. I'm from Marshall, Texas, okay. born and raised. I'm a part of Fast ENT. Y'all okay. make sure y'all look us up. I ain't got to look y'all up. I've been doing <laughs> the hell out of y'all. Don't just uh, do make y'all look us up. Are you talking to my people on on uh on Everybody. listeners is the listenership. Everybody. Everybody. You. Already, like Everybody. Go ahead. Tell us some more. So how did you get a name Chi Handy? Well, first, Chi comes from energy. It's an aura that you have about That's yourself. True. Hendy comes from my last name, which is Henderson. So I decided okay. to make it short, a little bit Jimi Hendrix going on, but the Chi Hendy. And uh, you came up with the name yourself? Came up with it by myself. How long you've had that name? About two years. I started out trying to be CeeLo, and I was like, nah, it's already taken. <laughs> CeeLo. You better have your damn vocals right, because you got to sing with a high-pitched voice oh, yeah. and that. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. What's that song she you got? She might have it. She already What's got it. What's that song you got? Yeah, you know, he sound like, you know, he can sound. I might be crazy. <laughs> That's him. I'm not going to <laughs> We're going person That's him. what's up, man. But no, I mean, he's different, <laughs> but I get it, though. Right. So so was it, how how did you discover, okay, uh, um, that you love the music? Early on or was it no, later or on? or were you born with this talent? Yeah. I was born with it. I started out with my dad writing songs at four years old. Oh, so your dad is also a musician? He can't sing at all. Okay. He, he can write. But he can write. He okay. taught me how to sing at four years old without being able to sing. Okay. And from there on, I just started singing with other people that were in the church. I could never do runs for nothing. But mm. just being around them, listening to them, it was kind of like being a sponge. Right. And listening to what they had to offer. Oh, I wish I could do runs too like that. But it was just a straightforward, just regular singing that I could... I could never get the runs at all. So really? even now, now I can do it better. Okay. It's come over time. Yeah, yeah, it takes time. Over it time, takes practice. How hard is it to learn how to do that? <clears throat> it takes a lot of practice. It does. Jasmine Sullivan, I'm still not messing with her, but you know, it takes a long time to learn runs. Okay. A long time. Mm, so I don't want to talk about the runs. I want to talk about <laughs> what neighborhood you lived in in Marshall. Was you living off Roger Street, 59, 80? Where was you at in, in Marshall? Off of University Avenue, down the street from Wiley, <laughs> Newtown. <laughs> Ooh, that's over there by Bel Air. Y'all, y'all, all that. Ooh, you go down through there, boy. By the time you get through there, yeah, yeah. it get real. Yeah. You know, so how Is was it rough? It? it do get rough. So I'm, I, I, I can remember parts of it being rough. Bel Air right. Apartments had its ups and downs, but yeah. I handled it. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it was our people. Everywhere we go, when we in Chicago, they say on the south side is rough. When we in Vegas, they say on the west side is rough. Wherever we go, they say it's rough where there's black people at. But right. at the end of the day, those are our people. I love them, and I always will frequently visit them. You know what I'm talking about? Right. right, right <laughs> but how right. was it growing up? In those neighborhoods for you? It was pretty smooth because back then it wasn't t too much going on. You had had your different areas where you had a lot of stuff going on. But through time, after the college kids left, it got worse. Yeah. Mm. It yeah. did. It got really bad. You stayed by the detail shop right there? 
little bit further down. T- oh, we can't be telling. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but I, I remember my boy Nunu and a black uh-huh. man used to live down there on right. the street. Right. I know my stuff now. I'm I'm, yeah, I'm all yeah. up in there. I just and it right. was a little barbershop. Right? What was his name? That old man they used to have. He probably don't um, know no more. I know fish. who you're talking about. Fish, fish. Um, Mr. Used, Fisher. It, it was fish, it, it was some with an elf. My son, he'll I tell can't me. Think but yeah, right yeah that, that's the that's the neighborhood you grew up in. Right. I can remember. I, I remember a little girl running around. Her hair wasn't combed. I, I drove through there one day, and I think that was you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My auntie was a hairstylist, oh, so okay. she might get pretty mad after she hit this. No. <laughs> no, but, but that, yeah. that that's a good area. Did right. you have any siblings? Or- I'm the only child. Really? I'm the only child. I could have told her that. My <laughs> she got only child syndrome. My just parent. like your mama. What is yeah, only child Yeah, man. What is yeah. an only child syndrome? Oh, that's when they think uh, everything belongs to them. You know, she uh, sat down in that chair and she just grabbed a mic like it belonged to her and she's sitting there and everything good. Just, yeah. oh, and I'm TND and my name stands for greatness. I'm a great person. Right. How about you? And that's right. the way it go when right. you're the only child. You, right. You feel good. I don't believe that. Yeah? No. Well, I Check still I have two other uh, siblings outside of my, my dad and my mom, my my brother and sister. They're my half brother and sister, but I call them. They're still my brother and sister. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we okay, have a big that's family. Good. That's good. So you didn't you weren't really raised by yourself, so to say. Right, I was really raised by my grandparents. Oh, okay. So your oh, mom and dad. Oh, so you sneaking boys in the house? <laughs> no, yeah, no, yeah. No. Grandma and them slow as hell. No. You ain't got to fool me. I know what going on with grandma. No. Grandma can't get up. She got that old house coat on. She's sitting there watching TV, get and you walking with. around, and she she say, "Who is that in that back?" You say, "Oh, that's such and such." She sit back down. No. But we know. Well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> she said, <"Well." laughs> "Grandma gonna let you make it." You know what I'm talking right. about? Yeah, right. but but a lot of times, you know, uh, right. yeah, in the country, that's good living. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, I love the food because she cook. Yes, yeah, she could cook. Well, she still living or she ain't living now? She's not living now, okay, but she but could she throw can down. Cook. Can you cook now? Oh, yeah, I can throw okay, down. Okay, because you, you should have the recipe. I had to slow down a little bit. I was getting a little plump. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I get it. I get it. But when I come through, I can get a fish sandwich or something. Not a fish sandwich. What Maybe some neck bones or some uh, bone. collard greens. I ain't no t- neck you bones. Ain't no yeah, I went over to South, shout out to South <laughs> Dallas Cafe. They had some yeah. neck bones over there off of Camp Wisdom. Yeah, yeah, that's right. the only place he I found some He don't be requesting that neck bones. He requests oxtails. That's why he That's because I'm married yeah. a Jamaican, but I eat some <laughs> neck bones. Hey, yo, you don't think I eat some neck? I cooked you, you some. Had... How many years ago? I ain't going to go okay, there. Okay, okay, you brought it out. How many years ago was that? That had to be about, I'm going to say carry the one. Uh, uh, I'm, it was probably about 14. 16 years ago. Okay. Okay. Isn't that a shame? It is. Well, okay. first of all. I bet you can throw down. Oh, yeah. That's why I don't have to cook it no more because she cooked them oxtails and okay, took the place okay. of Okay, I need to know this. As from a woman's perspective, just because a woman can cook. Right. Does that mean that a man don't have to cook no. sometimes? No. Well, I'm, first of all, you don't even have a man. So how are you going to tell her? I do have a man. Oh, you do? I do. She well, said she's not married. He That's the only cook. thing. Well, then, then you got you a cooker. I'm not a cooker. Cook. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't cook. Like, you got your man cooking. He can cook. You know, most of the time have I Have you cook. ever heard of Kevin Samuels? I have. Don't go. Don't okay. go. Kevin Samuels. Get Kevin Samuels, get Kevin Samuels oh, to Lord. talk to him about all this cooking. <laughs> <laughs> This is a good show. I like yeah, it, man. It I get up here and have a good... Do I be kicking it or do I be kicking it? <laughs> Every time, nigga, I have a good... I don't care who's sitting in this seat. It's going down. So, you know, just the fact that you um, are from East Texas, trying mm-hmm. to come uh, out from under that whole shadow, because a lot of times it's a stigma and the artists down right. there. It's so hard for them to penetrate right. what's going on in the industry. Mm-hmm. How have you been able to get those... Uh, 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 you know, those looks right. that everybody longed to get in the industry. First of all, connecting with the team mm-hmm. because you can't do it alone by yourself. Okay. It's very hard being a female artist and not having a team to help you, support you, and motivate you during mm. the way. It's very hard. Mm-hmm. Um, I started out doing music back in 2010. I started, stopped, and finally I got back here to, um, I came back here to East Texas and decided to make it a permanent thing for me. But where were you doing music when you said you started doing music back then? I started in Tyler. In Tyler? Mm-hmm. At the 220 Lounge with Nico. Okay. Shout out Nico. So when Nico. You first That's my started, guy right there. So mm-hmm. when you first started, um, what gave you the motivation to step out on faith to do that? At that time, I was young. I just, I just knew I could sing. And all I wanted to do was look cute. 
Let me ask you something. Yeah. When you was looking cute, one of them niggas seen you and took you up to Tyler. Yeah, that's what it Boom, was. Boom! I already know that's what exactly happened. What it don't just be like, I was just going to pursue it. No. Right. There's a nigga up there. Right. And he like, oh, she can sing. Yeah. We got a studio. That's what the nigga. Right. That's his yep, jug. That that's was his, it. That's his jug right there. Right. That's how he get in. He like, yeah, we got a studio and everything. You might as well come to yep. Then you get up and the nigga fall in love with you. And no. y'all trying to focus on music, <laughs> but you know you got you know you got right. the niggas in your ear called yeah. But I yeah. know how I go. You got you made it though. Right. That's what matters. I started out with DJ CP. Okay. And Chuzu. Okay. From the very beginning, when Chuzu's uh, dress was like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now they down here. Yeah, 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 but, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> You know already how that went down. Right. Yeah. But I started out then with uh, Jazz Wheeler as well. Okay. DMV Shot at that time back okay. in Tyler. Cool. So we had a lot of good things going on, and I ended up having my baby. Okay. Shout out to Brooklyn. How many kids you, know, you got? I just about to only say. one, only one. Okay, she's and okay. she three, she three and one, but she beautiful. She you know? three and one, <laughs> three in yeah. one. You know, wow. so that means you don't want any more. Not right now, not okay. at the time. I'm focused on my career, okay. as you should be. Who got your baby right now? Your mama, her dad. Okay, just mm -hmm. checking. I'm checking. I want all of you to sell this <laughs> all of them there, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> no, but we put it out there. Daddy got the baby, just yeah. in case y'all niggas didn't know. Boss Talk 101 oh, got Lord. responsible <laughs> parents on here. I want y'all to know that. <laughs> <laughs> so so okay. as you as you got into your career, uh, uh -huh. as you was up there, and, and what would you say was one of the bigger songs that you, you, you happened to drop back during that time in Tyler? Well, it didn't go as planned as it you needed to go. One? No, that no. nigga just wanted to it do didn't something go to nowhere. you. You it didn't, didn't go take nowhere. you up for that music. Every yeah. time you went over there, that nigga was plotting. It didn't go nowhere. I don't nowhere. even know who this nigga yeah. was, but he ain't even getting no songs right. out. We sent it off to DJ C. I mean, not DJ CP. DJ Juice, and he said, "Well, she got some more work to do." I'm glad you said that. Yeah. That brings up another valid question. Mm -hmm. um, you got some more work to do. That was in 2010. Ten. Now, fast forward to you and Enchantment doing the song in 2021, 20. 20 20, oh, uh -huh. 2020. Did that song play on the radio? Not at all. Bam, I got him right Not there. At all. Now, so yeah. when does Chi Hindi become good enough to play on the radio stations locally, there are by DJ Juice and all of them? Chi Hindi's good right no, now. No, no, no. I'm just saying, yeah. I'm asking that question. Right. Because it's been coming to me, and I'm right. going to be spitting that real fire. Up yeah, here. yeah. I'm trying to figure <laughs> out how. Do you get there if Enchanting and you and right. uh, the songs that you placing out there mm -hmm. are are good enough in your eyes? How do right. how do how do you get some spins? How how do we get to get get some uh, placements? Right, I'm and just asking. See what I've done is I've emailed the radio station and it never does. And it, I was supposed to have a radio interview and it never, never happened. happened. How long ago did Shout out that? to Boss Talk 101 who's been stepping right across ago. all two that and ago. just mm -hmm. saying whatever. Do you see do you see yeah. a lot of local um artists from East Texas mm -hmm. being played on the local radio? Not really. Station? Not really. So Bone just Not came really. up here and he had this complaint and then yeah. Al D said, No, they do play it if you give no, but uh, uh, Bone said no. Bone said he had mm -hmm. the biggest song. He was from down there. He, he didn't hardly get any mm -hmm. spins. Homegirl was the song back when it hit. Right, I know y'all right. know the song. He said everywhere else he yeah, would go, yeah. even including Dallas, he would get like 50 some spins. Mm -hmm. It was 70 but something spins 70 up, something here, up here, but here, down there, it might have been 20, 25 20. spins. Right. And he he said that was the reason a lot of artists are being held out held back in those right, areas right. is because they don't get the right. recognition from the radio station. Right now, other right. people are going to look at this and say, "Oh well, but it don't matter about the radio yeah. station." Well, it does because yeah, it local does. artists mm -hmm. you, you you can't get no signal down there. Right. You get down there, you turn it on, you ninety seven nine fade away. Right. Next thing you know, you're trying to figure it out. You got the gospel station uh -huh. on one oh four, then fade right. it all the way right. into my stuff. And yeah. now I'm like, okay, you turn the local <laughs> and I don't get the you know, the right. Chi Hindis and the local people right. from there. And I don't I don't know what the problem is with that, mm -hmm. but that's something that I, I will be voicing my opinion on strongly right. here on Boss Talk one oh one. Yeah. You know what I'm yes, talking yes. about? Because I think you guys do have the talent and mm -hmm. I think it's something that should be recognized. Right. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a long, a long way for me. And especially for us to work as hard as we've worked and not even hear like one song of one of our team members on the radio. Wow. It, it's it's bad, you know, mm -hmm. because I know we have talent. East Texas has a lot of talent, wow. but you never hear us on the radio. Wow. You might ha hear a couple of artists during certain picks, but that's not fair to the artists that actually are registered artists. 
and that actually are on all platforms. But do you think from 2010 to 2020, 10 years, a whole mm -hmm. decade, right. that you guys would have some, you've something, gotten one right, place. Something. You're saying you've never heard yourself on the never. radio in those local markets. Right, never had a radio interview. And you've put out different uh, projects. Right, different projects. And and, and the, you got songs with Enchanting. Right, dropped uh, Gypsy Waves uh, last Gypsy year. Dropped Gypsy Waves last mm -hmm. year. And, and I think that's an issue. Right. Yeah, I think that's an issue. I'm I'm mm -hmm. I'm your guy. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. Right. And I'm gonna I'm gonna scream it till, till they understand we mean it. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. Uh, <laughs> I think you know. Uh, uh, but when you're talking about um, the radio stations and you have these local DJs who mm -hmm. are working at these stations, right? Is it up to them? Is they make it. They make it seem as if it's up to them. I exactly. think there are people yeah. above them who are right. saying, "Well, this is how this is who right. you have to pay." This is a list of it. This, these are people who are paying. These are people who are not. This is who yeah. paid during this time. Because, mm. of course, you know, right. the more popular ones are going to play right. during your 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock when mm -hmm. everybody's going home, mm -hmm. the early morning right. times, mm -hmm. so forth, and mm -hmm. all of that. So I, I don't think, I think there's well, a pawn well, in, no. the, in the big game. Right. Well, I, yeah. I, I, you know, I, I tend to disagree. I think that if you want to do something and you work somewhere long enough and you've built those relationships mm -hmm. with those people, you can't be a jellyfish in the midst of a uh, people. You have to have some right. backbone and you have to step up and speak about things yeah. that you want to see changes in. That's um, true. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's been times when, 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 when I know it probably was those people that had big brother mentality over them. But after you've been on a job for so many mm -hmm. years, you you build a bun. The, man, the top man know you. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Uh, they treating you right here. They come ask you that. And then you have to say, hey, no, they ain't treating me right. I got a couple of local artists. I mm -hmm. want to at least get to play them at night sometime. Right. Or sometime at night. Right. Late night like they do in Dallas. Uh, a mm -hmm. lot of times these artists, uh, uh, is, that, is that right, baby? At night they'll play them artists up here in Dallas. Right. They play the local talents and they find mm -hmm. strategic ways to make sure that they have their time period. Right. And I think that's something that can be done anywhere. Mm -hmm. Because if, back if, in the if, days, if people step forward and, and voice their opinion. Right. Because exactly. back in the days when you think about DJs, and this was back when people had CDs and going to mm -hmm. radio stations, they'll go and take a CD or whatever, a disc to the, the DJ and right, pay them right. some money and say, you know, they want to get put onto this slot and whatever, but mm -hmm. things have changed. So I just don't know. How much has it changed? Can you still just go, you know, slide right. them some money or you know, whatever and get your, your stuff played? Right. Listen, exactly. man. Listen, man. I'm not going to excuse the fact that we're not in 1965. <laughs> right. Ain't nobody sitting outside with no new, with it a noose or whatever. What they hang on your what? Newspaper. No, no, the uh. little rope thing they hang with uh. the, you know, with the, what they hanging you at, you know. What does that have to do with Because that's, 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 yeah. that's the racism that occurred right. back in the day. Right. Those are signals. You might not know because you're from Jamaica, but it was certain things they would do to <laughs> black people to scare them. You understand? We're not doing that. We're not falling for that no more. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is we're in a different time period, and people, if, you know what I mean, they stick together, Right. Look, man, Floyd, and they, they they stepped on his neck, and 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 we convicted a man behind it. What mm -hmm. I'm saying is, uh, we have to at some point come together as a people in these situations in these small towns and say, mm -hmm. "Hey, man," because if you can show up at every event and support them, right, then right. you should be able to support them on the radio station. True, true. Because these same people true. are running around with different artists and all kind of stuff. Right. I mean, Juice, DJ Juice came on here. I didn't know any of this was going on. I'm mm. definitely going to call and reach out to him. Right. Uh, I'm probably going to see him at y'all's event. Yeah. I'm right. the dude to go ask him. Right. And, and Bone was like, Bone said, when you ask me, I'll go. <laughs> like, like it's not going to mean anything what he's right. saying. Because right. they're not going to do it, but go back to the same uh, 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 paraly maybe again, paralyzed state that they again, are. maybe it's out of his hand. He's just a I'm not pawn just blaming it on juice. Well, I'm you just know what? I hear other artists that from our area. It's like certain picks that have gotten played on the radio. Yeah, so. Okay, question. Yeah. Does Smitty get played? I barely listen to the radio, but I have heard it before on the radio. I've heard Camp. I've he heard uh, Camp Nowhere. I've heard. Uh, what is it? RNG, R and B, Marco, R and G, Marco. No, I'm just trying to figure. out. I know you're being uh, what they call it when somebody goes the other way with yeah, it, yeah. right? You know what I'm saying. <laughs> right. I'm just curious because that is his artist, right? Okay, well, I'm just curious to understand. He ain't the only DJ down there. Hell, it's a bunch of them, ain't it? I don't know all of them. What's the radio station down there? And it's one uh, in, in Jackson County too, right? Yeah, we ain't never tried to do it now. Do we? Well, when the guy that came here, he lived just so happy he lives in between both of them. And that's why he mm. he voiced his opinion like he did. Right. 
So, you know, like I said, he brought those, <laughs> Bone brought those, uh, those, if you go back and watch Bone's episode, you'll see he's yeah. strong about that because he right. really won't love to see, and he got a mm. master's degree in history and all that, so this mm. stuff messing with him probably. So <laughs> how much do you think that um, if your songs got played on the radio, how much would effect that help, right? you think it would have on your career? I feel like just hearing it at least one time on the radio should, should do something to you as an artist because I know my music isn't garbage. I know the music that we have as a team Damn. isn't garbage. So why not one time can I just at least say, Mama, my song is going to be on the radio. Damn. Listen in. Okay, you but... Know? That is so dope. Something you said yeah. earlier, right. when I asked you, do you hear it on the radio? You said, I don't really listen to radio. How many people... Listen to the radio anymore. Mama, listen to the radio. Quite a, quite a few, quite a few. Because like I'm, I'm the type of person I'll listen to our songs or listen to yeah, artists around yeah. the area. Then I'll teeter totter and go back into the radio. But you know, still, even with me, I was supposed to have a radio interview, mm -hmm. and after that, I never. Who was that radio interview with? DJ Juice. Okay. Yeah. I wonder what so. happened. Juice, I'm gonna be calling you. I want to know what happened on that on that <laughs> interview with uh, Chi Hendy. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's stuff like that that and, and and like I said, he could be out of his control. Juice right. seemed like a dope dude when right. I met him. He you is. know, he seemed like a dope dude. He from he Atlanta is. though, right? Mm -hmm. Right. But at the end of the day, I just I understand uh, that my part in this is to apply pressure in places mm -hmm. where I feel like the, the the that it'll help. You know, right, right, um, right. I wouldn't be right if I get on here and ignore the fact of what mm -hmm. people are telling me sitting in the seat that's from where I'm from. You right, know what I mean? Right. So, and that, it's not to not it's not to shoot shots right. and then like that. It's just to draw attention to it right. so we can say, hey, man, you know, um, right. we need to try to figure out a way to get that radio play right. in those areas. Let's get back to your music though, because you okay. got some dope music, Thank man. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Let me let me see what I can do. You know, because somebody, well, I can't play it on here because your stuff might be copyrighted right now all that next thing you know they flagging my <laughs> channel i done did all that on here they they restricted my youtube they right. saying that you know because you know, right. you know this copyrighted and i get it you know what right. i'm saying but i i would like to hear it though but i guess you can sing a little bit for us here too oh, sure yeah, i want to hear sure. it yeah, yeah i'm gonna see what song see, i'll let you pick you want to go acapella because it was a girl yeah you I know, let me just acapella. be real with you you know your home girl come up in here <laughs> sticking her chest oh. out mama scott and she oh, was talking yeah. about uh <laughs> She oh, the best Lord. out there. Period. I said, what? Oh, Lord. I said, that's a hard thing. I said, I don't he know said, about she that. Said she I said, I don't know anybody. about that. I don't know about Woo, that. Mama. And I said, I had a girl on here just the other week, and she sung what? She, she could sing She opera. sung what? She oh. could sing R&B. Yeah, and she's Ooh. a vocal coach. She could, she's a vocal coach. Ooh. That's pressure. <laughs> but then don't trip. Your natural song, your natural right. sound could be better. Then we had another girl in there. She sang and cried and sang and cried. Ooh. It was such a beautiful yeah. thing. Go back and watch... Uh, Art. Official art. The official okay. art. She had okay. a great interview. It's certain people, man. We've seen some great right. talent come through here. And she's people from down love, in Tyler. Yeah. Really? Yeah, really? Love, their, love the yeah. music, man. She's right. seen country, too. Oh, that's good. Like, she's a young girl, but, yeah. you know, yeah. about 24. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, she she really care about the music, and she's been through a lot. Wow. Shout out to the official art. Mm -hmm. you know oh, I mean? that's a beautiful name. Yeah, and it's really, wasn't uh -huh. it her initials, or was it her name? I can't remember. But anyway, it's about right. you today. Yeah, Chi Hendy is in the house. We gotta in get into house. it. So yeah. what you gonna sing for us today? Well Listen, if you I don't wanna to get booed, back. if you don't she wanna get booed, back. we gonna sing gospel. You know what I'm talking about? No. She, she, she I was about to say I'm just messing with <laughs> I was about to say it just depends on what kind of mood you wanna be in. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like with gospel, I can take you to another place. Okay, give me gospel but, and give me give me two. Okay, okay. All right. We'll start off gospel because I don't want I, I wanna get it all. You want I wanna gospel go first? Yeah, why not? I'm, I'm okay. gonna get in the spirit. Okay. Yeah, really? <laughs> really? What? Okay. We're gonna sing because he lives. All right. All right. Let's go. God sent his son. They called him Jesus. He came to love. Heal and forgive. He lived and died to buy my pardon and life is worth. Let's just stop 
right there. You know, that was that was enough for me. I'm, I'm tear eyed right now. You know what I'm talking about? I don't even know if Jesus probably could have walked through the door. We don't know. I don't know if he coming through the roof, but they say he coming back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. <laughs> No, that's I love the way that you uh, just go right into it. Um, that's you. confidence. You know what Thank I mean? You. I like that, man. I mean, uh, the most important not thing. Not a shy bone in your body. No, no, no. It probably <laughs> used to be. She probably got over all of that. Right, After 10 right. years not being playing on the radio, singing in the neighborhood. <laughs> right. She's singing in the neighborhood. Hell, yeah. you know, come on now. Uh, yeah, that was beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for that. I hadn't sang that in like two, three years. No, no, that's good. Like, that's good. <laughs> yeah, but that, that's good, you know, thank just you. to share your gift with everyone. You know, people, you know, they they need to, they, they, they need that. You know what I'm saying? You don't just, you, you can't just go through life and not understand that. That right. right there. The Bible said make a joyful noise before the Lord. Oh, preach. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta you definitely <laughs> yeah. gotta understand that that joyful noise is something that can can bring people to a place where they might be, you know, prostrate on the floor. And next thing you know, they're standing straight up in joy. Sure. You gotta look up, you know, get up and look up. You know well, when you have a talent like that, you have to share it because music does so much for a person's soul, mm -hmm. for their mental state. Right. And I was even talking to a friend of mine earlier who she has that gift that where she can sing, she'll make you cry. Right. But out of nerves, and not everybody has that um, courage to go and pursue it. Right. And I tell everybody, including her, I said, when you have a talent like that, you should. Mm -hmm. You don't ever want to live your life looking back. Right. And right. wondering if I could have gotten... You know, you that could have been me. I know exactly what you're talking about. That the one who, she came me. over yeah. in the house singing behind that damn refrigerator. <laughs> I know it, I, and then I know exactly who you're talking about. I ain't gonna call her name, but she got in the room, got in that corner. She wouldn't want me to see her. I gotta go all the way in the back of the house just for her to sing. Some people don't you want, know. you know, right. they don't want you to look at them when Man. you're singing. They, the confidence, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But right. they know that they have she a beautiful sing, voice. Right. But, yeah. you know, it's just to get out there. But, mm. I remember when I was younger and, you know, um, I didn't have the confidence with certain things. Right. And, you know, people will say, yeah, you should do it, you should do it. But mm -hmm. then, you know how you didn't get it from the right person telling right. you? Right. So you'd be like, okay, it, yeah. Right. But you feel like, say, example, so if I could sing and I heard it from a music director, I'm like, okay, right. I'm ready. Come on, <laughs> I can do it. But if you just hear it from your friends, from people, you can sing. You're like, right. oh, okay, thank you. And you just take right. it and they roll off. But it just depends on who say it. Exactly. That, so that's really what I think would make a person, you know, really get up and right. do what they're supposed or to do. Or get the inspiration from right. it. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Right. Um, you know, um, th there's a couple of things I want to hear out of you. You know, okay. I, yeah. You got, you got a little R and B. Yeah, now, she you said she's gonna do some R and B. Get your R and B out of you. One of your okay. songs. Something. Sure. I have. I want to do a little bit of uh, R and B and hip hop, but I'm gonna okay. do like kind of like a contemporary song called uh, "Pretty Pretender." Mm -hmm. And um, it's off of the Gypsy Waves album. Everybody that's not following me, follow me, um, Ch Chi Hindi, C H I underscore H E N D I on all social media platforms. Even TikTok? Even TikTok. Chi okay, Hindi. just want to make sure because a yes. lot of people be saying that, oh, they're on all of this, but they're not on TikTok. Right. So I just want to make sure. You can even Google me. Okay. Even though oh, I'm not here they go. You know, y'all trying to get fly. <laughs> you can Google me and Google all me. that. A lot of folks can't be Googled, you know. Right. You can Google my Instagram, but you ain't right. going to just Google your name and it pop up. Don't and try to get fly like that. You, uh, you, you, you can't even get like, on the damn like, radio like, down like, at home, just, but you done met up with Google? Look at her. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. She's you can't even get on the radio, but you switch stuff. You went straight to the universe. Like, I'm. who you call to get on Google? Hey, I set that up myself. <laughs> that's dope oh, man no 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 nah, 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 you're supposed to man yeah. go hard all the way a lot of people don't do it because i've googled a lot of people and you right. can't find them you just see their social media pop up right but you can't find any wikipedia talking about their right. background no nothing google business yeah you got to know you you got to know uh -huh. how to deal with your brain so you are right. a complete artist you're not just a singer you know about the business side too i do i'm studying right now uh music business and law that's dope man oh that's <laughs> awesome two months left that, how dope. long? Yeah. How long is it taking? It's been. It's took taking me two years. Two, two years. years. Is that normally how long it take, or are you just doing it slowly well, but shortly? I stopped and came back into it. Okay. Was so that when you was in Tyler when they had you in that studio and y'all no. wasn't making no music and you stopped? <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. It'll stop if you want it. These niggas will worry you to death. That's what complete. I stopped completely doing music after that. Why? I had my daughter. 
and you just decided. And I wanted a, a relationship with her mm, that's before important. developing a better relationship with music. Mm. That's important. I wanted her to be able to, to know, like, mom's going to the studio, mm -hmm. you know, so she can establish that relationship. Do you yeah. take her with you sometimes? I do, I do. So she, can sing, so she, she gets can mad sing. when she can't go. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does she try to sing too? She, oof. She's a good writer already. Really? Wow. That's yes. Dope. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Your daddy, daddy helping her with writing? No. Okay. You know, that nigga That's been her talent. That nigga been writing a long time. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga help you at four. That nigga help her. And he had what? See, what, he's 59? He's six? 59 now. Oh, see what I'm saying? That nigga hell of a, he probably think he can hell of a help her write. Yeah. 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 Everything. Sports Anything. and everything. Already. He probably serious <laughs> about his grandbaby. Yeah, he is. Yeah. But I That's started dope. back here. Uh, when I moved back here, I met Trilly Millie, which is uh, Say Look Shout Out, out Trilly. Shout out Trilly Millie. Uh -huh. I met Mama Scott. Mama Scott. How long have you met her now? We've all been together three years three now. Three years. Already. And I met them, and I started becoming more consistent with what I was doing. You had to. They they depended on you. Right, right. We all depended on each other. Right. Everybody, anybody flake, everybody flaked. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, Right. So you got to be careful when it's a team, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it's, it's a team effort. And it's a right, mastermind right. concept that come behind that as well. Yes, you know what yes, I mean? Because yes. now you got more people thinking and, and then mm -hmm. organically something's right. going to happen because God see all three of y'all planting seeds. But I'm not going to even go there. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Mama Scott. Already, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so so, so how did you meet Mama Scott? Sorry about that. I met Mama Scott because I was mad because I didn't know nothing about the fast bash. Mm. Oh, then and you called her. <laughs> well, hell, you wanted to be in that thing. I did. I saw mm. everybody else. I said, well, you know, I've been doing music for so long. I guess I'm not known yet, okay. So I called Mama Scott. Well, really, I reached out to Trilly because Twan Visual said, Shout out to one bitch. Nigga, answer your damn phone sometime. <laughs> For real. Go ahead. <laughs> Why that nigga don't like to answer his phone? Shout out to Mr. I put too much on my plate. Oh, Lord. Go ahead. Keep <laughs> but going. I reached out to Say Look Out Trilly from Tuan Visuals, letting me know he was a good producer mm -hmm. within this area. And then later on, I ran into Mama Scott almost literally two weeks after that. Wow. And uh, sat down with her and said, hey, I want to I want to be in the Fast Badge, too. And she looked at me. She said, well. You gonna be in the fast back? Hey man, it's up. Did she say it's up? Right. She didn't know it's up back then. She didn't man. know it was up then. She... <laughs> but it was up. It was up already. It man. was up. So anything else? What you got? No, I'm still. I'm waiting for that song. Oh okay. yeah, let it go. On, let it I'm go on. sitting on the edge of my seat waiting to hear it. Well, we want to keep a little bit more in suspense. Let's okay. keep on talking. Okay. You know? We don't no. want to just give it to her right now. You give it to her now, you might. You got to make them wait. That's the way Ti do it. Y'all want go. some hip hop Anytime stuff you go at the see end. these celebrity niggas, they make you wait. So we gonna make them wait. And once you wait, then they come and it be more exciting. That we put a rock with it right now. Right. So let me ask you this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> now go ahead, baby. Let's go. Get that song. Yeah, I want some hip hop stuff at the end. Okay, that's right. However okay. you want to okay. put it. It's your world. I'm just a squirrel I'm living in it. Okay. All right. So this song is called Pretty Pretender. Okay. For all those people that have been heartbroken in their oh. lives. Mm -hmm. Kind of contemporary. I'm just going to sing a little bit. That's piece everybody up. in here. Ooh. Everybody done been heartbroken at some point. <laughs> Life will do that to you after you get so old. You ain't yeah. never lying. All right, here we go. Pretty pretender, your lies affected me. Kisses so tender turns out that just make believe. Cause I see your cards. They're not who you say you are. King of diamonds, you only leave a scar. Lately you've been acting so cold. Your heart has turned to stone. Take your crying eyes and leave what's left of me. Oh, you could have fooled me. You say that you love me. You never would hurt me. Then why do I bleed? Oh, you could have fooled me. Say that you love me. You never would hurt me. Then baby, we'll see. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Man, you, hey, you, once you grabbed the real phones, I know we had to stop. I had it. to get into she it. She was in another world. She had, left, she had left straight up out of here. Boss Talk 101 wasn't even the thing anymore. So we had to bring yeah. you back. Yeah. That was beautiful. Thank you, thank what'd you. What'd you think about that? I loved it. 
Thank really? You, you sitting over just smiling like she you? Made me smile. <laughs> Hell, at, first, at first, I wasn't smiling. I was just listening. And then right. when she hit that, I, was just, I just couldn't help but smile. Wow. Oh, thank you. Man, we definitely love what you're doing, man. So you're going to be you. on Fast Bash. And you've been there how many years now? Two or three? This is my second year okay, doing Fast Bash. Okay, that's dope. Bash, I, what, uh-huh. do you, what, do you, what do you think you're going to... Uh, game from doing it this year. I can tell you right now, the production is on a whole nother level. If it go the way I right, think it's going right. to go, it's going to be bomb. Yeah, y'all just get ready. Uh, last year, my you, dance is watch this. Last mm-hmm. year, you weren't mm-hmm. able to look at it, but over and over again, I'm going to make it where you're going to be able right. to see it every time you right. want. You coming out with dancers and everybody dancers. Oh, you got dancers? I hope they got on the right outfits. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm booing them off to say they don't come right. I'm coming down now. I got a little room. I'm going to set up. Makeup, everything. I'm going to boo. Boo, get off the stage. Who is that girl (laughs) up there? That girl said, yeah. Right. You got to make sure they right. They're going to be right. How many R&B singers? How many R&B singers? Just me. Just you. Just me. Well, um, no, no. Uh, Half Paint has, I want to say one. Sianne. Yeah. Sianne performing down there? Yeah. She been on the show. Right. See yeah, yeah, Sianni. Yeah. Shout out. Matter of fact, Mo I posted Henry. them today. Mo Henry. Oh, okay. Mo Henry. Sianni dope. I love Sianni. Um, mm-hmm. The whole Top Off team over there. Shout out right. Top Off. And Mo Henry from Longview, Texas. It's Mo, it, it, Mo Henry. Uh-huh. Is that a guy? It's a girl. Mo Henry. Mo Henry. Never heard of her. Very confident. I'm going to look her up. Very confident. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, well who else? Uh, who else? Go? I know you're going to shut it down, though. What time you, you know what time you perform? <laughs> Around nine o'clock. Around nine. Right, right, truly. He done left when, once oh, you got the Lord, line. Okay. He said, "I'm gone." Around se- in between <laughs> seven and nine. Okay. In between seven and nine. Okay. okay. All right. Well, <laughs> so, we definitely gonna be on the lookout looking right. for you. Thank you. Thank you. If you had to name your top three artists of all time, top three artists of all time, alive. top three artists of all time, any genre, any genre. Mm. Number one. Number one. That's hard. Brandy. Okay. Mm. Wait, wait a minute, Brandy. That's the Brandy. first Brandy we mm. ever got on Brandy. here. Brandy, which one did you like? The song, "The Boy Is Mine" or whatever. What is All it? of them. Really? Mm-hmm. Brandy. No, number two. Number two, I would have to say Chris Brown. Really? <laughs> I'm sorry, Chris Brown. He just got the whole package. Dance now we moves said they are alive. You hear That's say. who she wants. Damn! Pick. Shout out to Al D. You you just said that too. <laughs> number Go ahead. three. Number three. Donny Hathaway. Boom, there it is. The only one one that I can really relate to because I'm an old school nigga. Dunn and Hathaway. Dunn and Hathaway. Mm-hmm. Did y'all hear that? Dunn and Hathaway. Hathaway. Shout out to Dunn. He did now, though. Damn. <laughs> Dunn and Hathaway and his kids. Shout out. You know what I'm saying? That's, uh-huh. that's a dope pick. Layla Hathaway. Layla Hathaway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. dope. Yeah, we lost mm-hmm. her. She from Jamaica. Yeah, she ain't no. No, no, no. I know who that is. I know who that is. You would have said Beanie Man or somebody. Hush. Sean Paul. (laughs) No damn Donny Hathaway. Boy, that's nice, man. Yeah. That's all right then. So, um, uh, where can people reach you if they want to get a hold to you or if they want to try to see where you're performing? You know, jump, jump on it. You can reach me at Chi Hindi. Speaking to the mic. All right. You can reach me at Chi Hindi on Instagram and Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter. As well, you can check me out at the Fast Bash 2021. It's going to be lit. Going I'm down. telling you, you're not going to want to miss this for real, for real. Fast CNT in the building for real. Wow. Yes. Say, so, hey, man, you know, the thing I can say is we appreciate you for coming on the thank show. You, thank you. Is there you. anything else that you would like to talk about before we shut that mic down? I would. Let, Let it go. go then. Let's go. In it. Cross the water to Baghdad. Hey. I've been in war with the Sandman. Bricks on my score like a Taliban. Run them numbers like a million man. Send my package out to Cuba. Cuban Lincoln with the Cubans. Send my money to Aruba. Run the heads like Medusa. Can't feel my body. I can't feel my pain. VVS stones all in my hand. Hey, <laughs> hey let's go. Wait a minute. I didn't even know you <laughs> rap. <laughs> When did you start rapping? I don't rap. So you just acting a fool. <laughs> just acting a fool. I love it, man. <laughs> that's dope, man. Hey, cool. man, that's what I like. I like a free spirit. You right. acting like me now. Right. I, I, I would have got that second verse while you playing. Yeah. Right up in this thing. But right. I got to have some beat on because that's yeah. what make me go hard. Right, right, <laughs> right. When right. ain't nobody they're like, damn, I'm like, yeah, I could have made it. As long yeah. as ain't nobody else in the car, I could have made it, nigga. Right. Right? For real. Check it, man. <laughs> say, man, it's been a... No- hey, first of all, we love you. I got to say that. I love y'all, we too. Love it's you, been man. a pleasure. We love you coming Fine. on Boss Talk 101, mm-hmm. man. And we definitely going to be watching out for you. And if you got anything else you're trying to put out, make sure you come and holler at us, awesome. man. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. Hey. Hey.